children welcome to science class today we will learn new lesson that is crop production and management in the previous class you have learned that food is a basic source of energy for all living organism all living organisms require food to carry out different life processes food is prepared by farmers by cultivating crops food is prepared by the farmers by cultivating crops in the field cultivation of crops in the field is called as agriculture agriculture means what cultivation of crops in the field is called as agriculture agriculture can be defined as art of cultivating crops and raising livestock agriculture is a art of cultivating crops and raising livestock that means cultivating crops in the field as well as developing the organisms or animals which are helpful to agriculture that is called as agriculture without agriculture the world cannot survive everyone depends on the farmers for their food so farmers are considered as annadatas why farmers are considered as annadatas because everyone depends on farmers for their food it may be directly or indirectly so the farmers are considered as anna datas agriculture is still the largest occupation in india engaging a large section of our population agriculture remains the most important occupation in the world you know that food is produced by the farmers the produced food should be supplied to all the people in the country to provide food for large scale population we should follow some of the steps they are first one regular production that means regular production of food food should be produced regularly and second one is proper management proper management of produced food and third one is distribution that means managed as well as produced food should be distributed properly these are the three steps should be followed to provide food for large scale population next we will discuss about what is crop is 
season. Now in India, crops are classified into two types based on the season. There are two types of crops. That is, first one is Kharif crop, another one is Rabi crop. Now, first we will discuss about Kharif crop. Kharif crop means, crops means the crops which are grown in rainy season. What is Kharif crop? The crops which are grown in rainy season are called as Kharif crops. In India, rainy season is June to September. Example or examples of Kharif crops are Paddy, maize, groundnut, soya bean, etc. Karif crop means the crops which are grown in rainy season. Second one is rabi crops. Rabi crops means the crops which are grown in winter season. The crops which are grown in winter season are called as rabi crops. In India, winter season is October to March. Examples of Rabi crops are wheat, gram, mustard, pea, etc. Paddy plants cannot be grown in winter season. Why? Paddy plant cannot be grown in winter season. Why? Because Paddy plant requires a more amount of water or it requires lot of water for growth and development or cultivations. That's why paddy plants cannot be grown in winter season. Instead of these two types of crops, in summer season also some of the crops are grown. For example, vegetable, fruits. Flowers, they are also grown in the summer season. You know that farmers will do some of the activities in the agricultural field to cultivate the crops. To cultivate the crops, farmers will follow some of the activities. The activities which are undertaken by the farmers to cultivate crops in the field is called as agricultural practices. Agricultural practices means several activities undertaken by farmers to cultivate crops are called agricultural practices. What is agricultural practice? Several activities undertaken by farmers to cultivate crops are called agricultural practice. This agricultural practice involves several steps. There are mainly seven steps are involved in the agricultural practice. They are first one preparation of soil. Second one sowing. Third one adding manure and fertilizers. Fourth one irrigation. Fifth one protecting from weeds. Sixth one harvesting. Seventh one as well as last one that is storage. All these are the steps involved in the agricultural practice. Now first we have discussed about the first step that is preparation of soil. It is a important process in the important step in the agricultural practice. In this process Farmers will turn the soil as well as lose the soil particles. Loosened soil enables plant roots to go deep into the soil. And it allows air to enter inside the soil particle. And so that plant roots can breathe easily. And it also helps Organisms such as earthworm and some microorganism to grow. And it helps in the growth of earthworm and microorganisms. And it helps to maintain 
a water holding capacity as well as humus content in the soil thereby it increases the uh, nutritive component of the soil the process of the process of turning and loosening process of turning and loosening of soil is called as tilling or flowing process of turning and loosening of soil is called as tilling or flowing this can be done by using agricultural tools like flow hoe and cultivator these are the agricultural tools used for tilling or flowing in the next class we will discuss about all these agricultural tools in detail if you have any doubt in on this topic you can ask